Hey guys, this is Effective Kill here for some information about my channel. Um, the reason why I have so many Diablo videos up is because during the break, I haven't had exactly a lot of time to do a bridge series. I've been trying to think up ideas for one, but I haven't really got any bridge series under my mind. I'm having trouble re-recording the Dead Space footage because I lost all that footage. So Dead Space 3 Episode 4 has been delayed indefinitely until I can get that footage, and it's not easy because... Pinnacle Studio now refuses to install or uninstall because I had to. I basically found out that I had to uninstall it for the Dazzle to work, but now I get an error saying a uh, version of Pinnacle Studio is already installed. Go to Add or Remove Programs, which doesn't exist in Windows 7, so that's perfect. Um, and yeah, because I saw the influx of. I think I lost five, six subscribers in an instant. And I'm kind of just addressing that is that we're doing, we're planning to do the abridged series. I may eventually put the abridged series on a secondary channel just to be safe because, um, I don't have all the episodes of Dead Space 2 abridged. I don't have all the episodes of 1 abridged. Um, I'll probably have to download those and change them around so that I can post them on a secondary channel. Same thing with the Assassin's Creed and Resident Evil series, which people enjoy, I guess. Um, also, the Diablo ones are up because of that, and I'm sorry for the shaky camera. It was going perfectly a little while ago. Now it's just decided to go completely annoyingly, and I don't know why it's doing this, so that's even more perfect. Um, no, I said I'd get the Star Wars one done, but I have an exceedingly troubling time due to the fact that um, the one thing EA and Bioware should have done for this, for Star Wars The Old Republic, is don't make it free to play. You don't need to do that. It's not that far dead yet. You may have lost subscribers, but I myself and many other people, like I found this out, many other people do the same thing that I do, and I buy prepaid cards because I don't like the description thing, and I'm not going to be always playing this because the fact that I don't want to pay for a one-year subscription when maybe for a month, example during school, I won't have a lot of time to play this, so it won't be worth it. I spend a one-time payment on like a month, and... <coughs> and I only play it for a short amount of time. There's no purpose for that. One thing that I do have to do is the one thing that I like that 1.3 is going to do is uh, it's going to allow you to switch characters to different servers. The one thing it should do is merge tons of servers. You don't need 30 servers for North America. You don't need that many. You may need that many for WoW, but that's WoW. WoW is gigantic. I may not like WoW, but WoW is still successful, even though I lost, I think, 5% of their people? 10? I don't think it was 10. I think it was just 5. If it's 10, it's 10. If it's 5, it's 5. They still got 90 to 95%, so they're fine. Sorry, I'm not going to do as much hand movement due to the fact of the camera acting all shitty. But that's just some information I wanted to give. Um, I've been kind of sparingly using the Xbox and doing the other thing due to the fact of looking for a job, so that's even more perfect. Uh, I did get this cool ass uh, um, mouse pad, so. That's cool. Like the Diablo 3 uh, Demon Hunter mouse pad. So that's really cool that I got that. Um, but basically, yeah, I'm going to keep posting Diablo. And another thing is the mic. That I got some comments with the mic. And the mostly the thing is, is I don't have the money myself to afford a new mic. I had my birthday recently. So 21, drank some beers, all that stuff. But really, it's just... Um, I got some money for that, but that money went into other things, like, it's going into school because of specific problems in the major that I chose that hopefully I don't have to go for an extra semester, but I may, so that's that problem. Hopefully I don't, and it's just four years. I don't want to do five. That'd be fucking stupid. I'd have no money after college, because, yeah, that's going to be because that's the basic thing. But yeah, if anyone knows how to fix the Pinnacle Studio problem of Pinnacle Studio 15, because I have it, I had to reinstall it because of my computer thing. Now I've gotten into the big habit of, I never got this before and I did have the terabyte thing. That's how I store my footage. I store it on the terabyte. Plus, I've been using Fraps, and Fraps is a whole lot better at capturing footage on the computer than Camtasia. Camtasia is crap for capturing footage. Camtasia is good for editing if, it's a, if you want a quick really easy to use editor. I also have Vegas Pro for backups because I have this weird problem. I don't know why, but basically when I cut clips, I cut them into 15 minute segments. Like let's say usually I record an hour to an hour and 10, 15 minutes. And basically everything up to the hour will be perfect. Like the 15, the 30, and the 45, those will be perfect. 
But the last segment, the fourth segment of that, or the fifth, or both of them, won't work. Or in the rare instance, when Fraps decided to turn on the setting where it cuts every four gigabytes, and I did have the hour-long thing, is it wouldn't work until I got it into Sony Vegas, which I have to admit Sony Vegas is good, and it's a really cool trial thing that I'm still allowed to... I kind of wish the trial had a date, maybe a countdown timer, because I don't know if it still does, but I downloaded it from their website. But I don't really plan on paying for it anytime soon. Probably if I run out of the trial, switch back to Contesia and just try to figure out another way to get around it. Um, yeah, that's basically what's been happening here, this channel update and all this crap. Um, also recommend if you guys, if you're any bit the fan of Avatar, if you don't know, you probably should know if you're any bit the fan of Korra's. Been going strong pretty well. I like the season so far, but it's been it's been kind of iffy. Like the thing that I liked with Avatar is it didn't focus on the romance between Aang and Kintara till the end. That was the good thing with it. It didn't focus on the end, and it was secondary to the comedy. And this one, it throws right a love story in, it throws betrayal and all this other stupid shit in. It has a couple of twists that I didn't exactly expect, but. It's really kind of iffy. Like, it seems like this season could have been a lot better, but they've been toning it down for some reason. I guess they're trying to go for the teen demographic, because you expected that you got in. But I got into Avatar because I heard good things about it. And then I saw the movie, and then I'm like, I'm going to watch more of the anime to hopefully they never make the fucking second movie and butcher the franchise even more. But that's basically just me. I don't know if there's any games coming out this summer that I'm interested or to be doing reviews on. I'll do a review on Diablo 3 whenever that, whenever I actually finish it. Because I basically, the reason is why, um, I know someone who's doing, I think, Nightmare or Hell. I think he's doing Hell difficulty. He's basically like, I finished Diablo 3 in three days, and I'm like, wow, did, did you just play it 24-7? I mean, I've been limiting myself to an hour, and if I'm lucky, two, three hours of play time. Um, same with Star Wars The Old Republic, because I just limited it to an hour, and all I've been doing is War Zones, because... That's the problem. The servers are very... Like, the one that I'm in is a standard level, and there's really a standard server at the top, Ajunta Paul, I believe that's called, and all the way down to Fat Man. Fat Man's a heavy server. We'll probably switch to Fat Man. It's a heavy server. Everything down to that is light, which means there's barely any people in it, Republic or Empire. The thing that I've noticed is there, there always seem to be a bit more Empire players, but that might just be because... Empire may seem more popular. I've noticed the story seemed to be more fleshed out for the Empire than the Republic, but I don't know about that. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Sorry if there's no editing, but I tend to like to do these with the off-my-head type thing. Um, what did I want to talk about? Also, if you guys do, if anyone does bother to comment on this, um, thank you for anyone who is still watching the content, ID videos. I'm helpful. I'm Happy to help for any grievances that you've had. I do have a response video on that that is very good. It's a response video that I accepted onto it, that it should be a problem, that it, it should be able to fix a common error that you may be getting. That may be, um, I don't know if it's a subscriber error, it's another one, but basically, uh, it basically fixed an error where it says that you have a video that's not in good standing, but it really is in good standing. So to check out that response video, it's pretty good. Um, not moving around, so I think because somebody's like, so I'm moving around, I'm not gonna move around that often. Then. Okay, uh, also, the, I'm still surprised that people watch the uh, the extra credit leaves the escapist video. And really, that was video was um, unfortunately, for my opinion, kind of I wanted to get the news out as quickly as possible to people. In the back of my mind, I kind of was like, I want to get this out to these people because there are extra credit has tons of fans. They still do on their YouTube page. I still watched all those old videos. If there's a video that I'm going to introduce that you have to watch in extra credits, it's the one about uh, gamer addiction, but it's not cold addiction. It's more of they're not addicted to it. It's just I guess you could call it addicted if they want to live in the gamer world and more in the real life. Like you could say sometimes I could say myself that I was addicted to. Gaining a bit, but I've scaled back. Uh, internet's one thing that I gotta get out of. Um, doing a lot more reading and other shit like that, but it's a, it's the internet. I think that's one of those common addictions nowadays, the internet addiction. But I'm getting through that shit. But you don't want to hear about me say that and other stuff. Um, for anyone still watching the Bridge series, thank you. Um, I enjoy making them, especially the ones with Grant Brown Dog. Uh, to the any people who are like, why does uh, Assassin's Creed or the other ones suck so much? Is because for Dead Space 2 Abridged, um, 
Grant Brown Dog and I actually made scripts and used a used one of the cameras that the school has to record the audio, and then I had him do all the editing because he is film major, so they look a lot better than Dead Space 1 Bridge or Resident Evil 5 Bridge or my Assassin's Creed Bridge that I don't know if I'm going to finish those. I may during the summer because jobs and all that crap. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of free fucking time because internships fell through the three, but what do you get when you try to get an internship at gaming companies? It's not easy, but that's the basic idea for that. Uh, this video has run pretty long. Do I have anything more that I want to talk about and explain on my channel? What do you guys think of the slogan, half at Home of the half ass series? Do you think I should change it or keep it? I want your guys' input on my channel. Anything that you like, anything that you don't like, if you like... I don't like the gaming videos or something because this, this, this. I'll try to improve it. As said before, I can't fix the mic. Um, I'm trying to record the videos in the highest quality, and they seem to be coming out pretty good. Um, if people like, I don't like you backtracking, I'll try not to backtrack as much. Just That's the way that I like to play games, is I like to find everything in a room before I leave it. I think that's pretty common. Um, I did, I think, purchase The Witcher 2. I don't know if I'll ever get to a review on that because that game was... It seemed fun. It started to play fun. Then I got to a certain... I, I, I pretty much just escaped from, I think, a prison or something. And it's like at the exact beginning of the game. And I'm just like, this combat and other stuff is enjoyable. It's really cool. It's really well made and the environment looks great. I just don't think it's my kind of game. Also, um, when the Mass Effect 3 new ending comes out, I'll definitely do a review on that and see if the ending lives up to people's expectations. My own expectation was... Here's what you're going to do. You're going to have a really good ending. You're going to have a really shitty ending where, like, the entire fleet's destroyed. Shepard is forced to watch it. Hell, the best thing would have been seeing the Normandy trying to escape from a Reaper and then just get blasted and completely destroyed with all your fucking crew members in it. Like, you are you basically get up from the Harbinger attack, and basically you still see Harbinger there kind of looking you down. Then he looks up and he just blasts the Normandy and kills everyone there while the fleet dies and just pretty much says to Shepard, um... I don't know, um, what did he say? Just some speech downplaying of saying you could never win Shepard. You never had a chance. And the good ending would be showing us pushing back the Reapers. I guess the indoctrination theory could make fun if it's all in his mind. And FTL drives exist. The faster than light travel does exist in the Mass Effect universe. So none of them would starve. Um, probably the Quarian fleet would have the toughest time because they're on the outer edges. The galaxy, that's where the planet exists, is on the complete outer edge. So they'd have a tough time getting back there, but they'd have to have food stocks and water and all this other stuff. And they wouldn't be the people who are like, well, I guess all the fleets are stranded on Earth. <laughs> but it'd be like, if you're destroying our Reaper tech, they did make that. Also, the Citadel would blow up. Why? It's also Reaper tech. But that's all this stuff. I don't want to get into a Mass Effect discussion. Ooh, yes. Yo, we're going to get into a Mass Effect discussion right here. So, to anyone watching, thank you for watching this. Tell your friends. Get some likes and spread some subscribers to other people. Spread the channel. Try to get more people to watch this or something. Uh, if you want. It's your possible choice. I might watch self, watch a lot of other stuff, and I've been slowly deleting stuff based on um, mostly the fact of, I don't know, just cleaning up my subscriber thing, so I guess that's people doing that during the summer, so. For anyone still watching, thank you for watching this video, and see you guys later.